key player in the Senate's uh, tax bill, Finance Committee member Senator Pat Toomey. We should always have the camera running, maybe, Senator. But I, I said when you sat down, I, I don't think these plans are, are that different, and it looks like they could be reconciled pretty easily. I think I also said to you that, that you know, initially the markets looked at that delay until 2019, but once they looked at the business expensing, right. if you can get it, you got to get it under 1.5, and it's hard to, to get it anywhere else. And right. if you can do it that way and do business expensing, it's not that bad because it's permanent. Two to, well, to 20. that's right. And business gets to deduct the expenses against a 35 percent rate. Right. That's a big deduction. That's almost as and good then, as it of having it happen now. Or maybe even it, better. It really, it really is. So, so look, I'm very open to the discussion about moving that date forward. That would not be a, a terrible thing. There are trade-offs. As you point out, there's a limit to how much revenue we can forego. But I got to tell you. Not that different. Yeah. It's not that different. The fundamental principles are the same. Tax savings for middle-income families a dramatic reduction in the business rate so that we can compete, moving to a territorial system so that we don't double tax uh, business overseas. The architecture is the same. So I think we'll be able to iron out the differences. What about delay, the delay on the corporate rate? That's the big issue. No, we just, yeah. No, no, it, it no, doesn't no, matter. You get business expensing, it's even better than the delay. And then you get it under 1.5 trillion. But do, you, but do investors. You got to get it somewhere. Look, I, we're, on our side, I think we're going to be open to have this conversation. I mean, when you think about it, we're not that far apart. We've got, the goal is 20% permanent. Yeah. So one starts on January 1, 18, the other starts January 1, 19. One I think start. we can find a way to bridge that difference. And one, one, it, it's harder to make it permanent if, if you start it immediately and you're, and you're over the year at 1.7 trillion, which won't, won't pass muster, right? Well, and you've already got Flake talking about not even wanting 1.5. We'd 5. have to find some other offset, and that gets challenged. Let me read you this. The, the, the journal says that the Senate uh, plan improves on the House plan in several important ways, but it ends by saying the details matter, uh, but the larger story is that the Senate, which was the cemetery yeah. for the health care bill, uh, is has joined with the House, and it could be. Rec I can see how you, th th there there seems to be. You know, people said Virginia could go either way with whether it helped or hurt this effort. I think it lit a fire under some of these guys. I, I'll tell you, we've been working all year long on this, working closely with the White House, with our colleagues in the House, and yesterday we unveiled the details to the entire Republican conference in the Senate. Now we've been discussing the major elements for a long time. But it was really well received across the conference. Now, we've got to hold almost everybody, and we understand that. Yep. But it, uh, there's a lot of enthusiasm because it's going to encourage economic growth there's, and investment in the United there's States. There's a devil in the details. This is interesting, Andrew, talking about the, the individual things. But the, the journal didn't like that you're not repealing the death tax. I say you do yeah. double it to $10 million, But I hadn't even considered this, circuit, and this is, is kind of interesting. The journal says the wealthy will still duck the tax by moving their assets into trust or foundations or sell businesses prematurely. As a result, it diverts resources from the productive economy. So there's, there's, there is a growth reason to get rid Ab of, to the, get rid of the death tax. tax? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. But you don't you do lock it. Up, no, and again, it's a matter of what pieces trillion. we can fit into this box. But we lift the exemption to $11 million for an individual and $22 million for a couple. That really covers the vast, overwhelming majority that of people. Cover, if you add Pilar in, does that, are you, that, see, that won't work for him. If you add <laughs> your wife in, that's, you're still going to be. Uh, Sorry I, we left you behind. Andrew. I'm left behind by this plan. How, I, I asked you earlier, you, you didn't really, is the pass-through, this seems this less. pass-through seems better. Yeah, for you. 100%. Right? 100%. It's much simpler. It's much simpler. It captures it a lot, are, a, you know lot what a else? piece it, of it. it, right. it you know, I, we've talked about Reagan would never raise the high, would never have a, a, a add an additional bracket for, for wealthy individuals, which the House does. I mean, that, that's like philosophically not where a, that, the, a, a normal It's not where we were in the, the right. Senate Finance Committee. We, we well, that, How do you think that gets point. reconciled between you and the House? Oh, you think it, you guys there's win? Gonna, there's going to be a long list of things that we have relatively modest. Here again, it's one percent. What do you think point. Trump wants? Trump does, you know, he well, always yeah, talks well, about Bob Kraft, tells me don't give any, you know, it, it, he probably would <laughs> prefer the House bill. You know, we're, we're discussing, we're arguing about this little tiny, tiny right, right, difference. Right, right. And I think President Trump will be okay with either outcome because the big picture is it's a tax savings for the middle class and it makes business competitive. It's going to encourage tremendous investment. It's going to be very pro-growth. Were you surprised at how quickly it got out of the committee in the House? I, I, it's actually moving. It is moving. No, it's very good news. I think they held every Republican on that vote. Uh, so, they're, they're making so, good progress. But, but just in terms of how this moves forward to the extent yeah. that you think it is close, just help us understand where the, the fault lines are within the House relative to when this comes back to them. 
Uh, you mean in the, in the policy where, where yeah. the challenges are? Well, look, I, I think it's the things we've been talking about. You know, we're going to have to reconcile Salt. A slight difference on the top individual rate. We're going to have to reconcile the timing by which. But who do you think is going to go with you and who's not? That's what I'm. I'm will just, you lose the? A, uh, to will you lose some of the the red state? House guys with assault getting rid of. You it. mean blue state house guys? Blue, uh, I'm sorry, um, blue state house guys. Because well, apparently somebody may have already said that one they, guy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. All right. But look, um, I, I think we'll figure out what it what it takes to keep everybody on board in that respect. I think it's good policy to disallow that deduction. Why should my constituents in Erie, Pennsylvania? be subsidizing the cost of high taxes in New York City and San Francisco. I think if we Andrew, the mayor if you were in this. the Senate, yeah. and let's say, let's call you an independent, yep. but you're right in the middle on all Thank these you. things. Thank I you. think with this pass-through change, I, I, and with being able to bring the money back and the territorials, all right. the things that are in there, I, I think I, I've I almost... I a full score. I need a full score. No, no but I think, I've almost, I think you're almost I, there. Here's if another, it's under $1.5 trillion, don't we almost have a... Can, can you make up for a loss in the Republican side of things? I always thought will you, you get, get it, will you get them to fifty one. If it could get scored closer to five hundred, oh, okay, okay, we're can, not can, getting can, another can I, eight hundred. That maybe you take Andrew, a, take a chance. You spent Andrew, ten trillion. You, you spent ten trillion in the last eight years. Here, here's a number to think about. Four tenths of one percent of extra GDP growth completely fills in the hole. Yeah. Four tenths of one percent on average on. over the full budget window. Give me this. Don't you think? Give me. Don't I'm, you think? I'm going to get them right now. Come on, Andrew. Come on, Andrew. <laughs> Come on. I hear where you. I know. I. 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 I hear You're not where ready you, to make a decision. Right? You got to talk to the. You got to talk to the wife. <laughs> That's what my clients always used to say, and it's like. Uh, right. Got to talk to my wife. That's my answer. I'm using that. I got to talk to my wife. Can I call you tomorrow? I got Joe. I got to. I got to call. I need a lifeline. I need a lifeline right <laughs> Senator, now. Senator, thank you. It's, Thanks uh, for having it's, me. It's a. Uh, it's a big step. Not forward. usually that exciting to talk about tax reform, but it's it's kind of interesting. I think, I think hopefully, and, and it's interesting. Hopefully, not too, just that, to us. No, but it's also interesting that the, that the market, is, at least initially, took it one way. Yeah, ninety well, point. Well, we'll see. Okay, uh, thank you.